back to Frenchtown, to Frenchtown News, and it's Evan Ellington here with David Daves reporting for you. Some upcoming events that are coming up is Wednesday we have High School Picture Day, and we also have JV Golf. Thursday, September 10th, we also have Varsity Golf at Hamilton, Varsity Football Home, which is the theme is Blackout, and we also have Volleyball at Stevensville. Then, on Friday, September 11th, girls varsity soccer and, boy and boys against Hamilton and cross country is also at Hamilton. Saturday, September 12th, we have boys soccer home and also girls soccer home against Libby. And we also have volleyball against Dillon, which is also home. And not to mention, we have student council elections that are coming up soon. So make sure that you are ready to vote for whoever is running. So result, some results from past week, uh, from volleyball, we had a loss against Polson 3-0, but we backed it up with a win by Hamilton yesterday, 3-1. Uh, football had a great win against Goose Central yesterday, 43-12, uh, uh, definitely played very well. Uh, soccer had unfortunately two losses to Sea Falls, boys was kind of a shock, but that's okay, we got a great season coming up. Uh, golf, uh, Ben Duhane takes first and Candace Romney took second at the King Ranch Invitational, great job boys. That's really impressive. Boys. And then cross country, uh, we, there was a meet in Libby last Saturday, and Abby Sherwood took fifth with a time of 21 minutes and 56 seconds in the 5,000 meter varsity. Very impressive. And also today, cross country was in Ronan. Also this week, uh, we, have a, we have Labor Day off this Monday, and we also start with uh, Tuesday and Thursday being B days, and Wednesday and Friday being A days, and also Thursday is an early out. So this last week, we checked up on the boys' soccer team, and this is what they had to say. Hi, this is Frenchtown News. Good afternoon. Today I have Mason Palin, a senior, and also senior Jeffrey Jacobs. So last year, you guys suffered a heartbreaking defeat against Laurel. How do you feel about bouncing back this year? Um, I feel like it's going to be pretty easy because we're the only ones who didn't lose 11 seniors. How many seniors do you have this year? I think we decided on seven. <laughs> nice. Mason, how confident are you in your seniors and your second year coach? Uh, I'm pretty confident. Uh, we're all out here ready to eat, you know. Yeah. We're ready to get back in that season grind. Um, our coach is great. All these seniors know what they're doing, and they're just waiting for a state champ. For sure. So, Mason, the question we've all been waiting for is, where did you get your cut? Uh, from Taylor, I gifted cuts here in Frenchtown, Montana, dude. Nice. Shop local, dude. Damn. Look, Coach Mark, you guys had a great season last year. Tough loss against Laurel. How do you feel about this year? I feel really good about this year. Uh, we're starting in a good place. We got a lot of new freshmen coming in, building the program up. Um, we're starting where we left off, so we're playing Laurel first game. I think it's going to be a win this time. Uh, re recoup from last year. So, Sean, what's up? Yep. So you guys lost a couple seniors this year. How f confident do you feel in your replacements this year? Uh, I'm pretty confident. Uh, we got a lot of, like I said, a lot of young guys. I think we have about nine freshmen coming in. So they've got a lot to learn. Um, they've got some growing to do. But I think that we're going to fill holes pretty well. We've got some other uh, older players that came in new this year um, that are definitely going to fill in. We lost, like you said, a couple seniors. Our goalie, Dawson, some big shoes to fill. Um, we've got a couple guys stepping up practicing, so we'll see what we can do. All right, thank you, Coach. Yeah. We also decided to check in on the girls' soccer team and see what they had to say about their upcoming season. Tabes, I'm reporting for the girls' soccer team. We have Lauren Demons. Uh, Lauren is one of the captains this year. And uh, so, Lauren, last year your record wasn't the greatest. How do you think you guys um, look this year? No, uh, I feel like we really improved last year, and uh, we lost a lot of good seniors, but we have some good freshmen coming up, and they know what they're doing. They have some confidence, so, yeah, I'm... I'm really excited to see how this year goes. How confident are you in the coaching staff this year? Uh, I've been with Jasmine since she's been a coach here. and uh, She knows what she's doing. She played in college. and she's, you know, She has a lot of confidence in us. and uh, She's not too strict, but she gets on us, and she's conditioning a lot this year. So, yeah. so you guys are in, in path to be in better shape this year? Oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> We're here with Coach Jasmine of the girls' soccer team. Coach, how do you think your team's looking this year? I think we're looking good. We have the most numbers we have had since I've been here for all four years. We have 19 girls, so 
yeah, I think we look really good. We've lost six seniors, but we've gained a lot of freshmen, and we have a couple seniors and juniors that look really good this year. How do you think the team will perform this year, considering uh, a not-so-good record last year? Um, I think we'll do good. I hope the girls forget about the record last year. Like I said, um, we struggled with numbers in the past, and we have 19 girls this year. So, um, yeah, I think we'll do really well. It's a fresh, new start, new season. Um, I hope the girls remember that as well. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. And this is David Taves with Frenchtown News. And we also decided that we should check in on our volleyball girls and see what they had to say about this year's season. I am David Taves with Frenchtown News. We have Ryan Belfort, uh, captain of the volleyball team here. How is your season looking this year? In practice, we're looking pretty good, but we just have to in games get going a little bit before we start rolling with it. Uh, do you think you guys you guys had a drought going to state in the last couple of years? Do you think you guys can break that drought this year? If we can get our energy up, I think we can. I know we can. Awesome. Do you have any tips for incoming freshmen, possibly? Just work hard and practice, always. Hi, it's Evan Elton here, Frenchtown, Montana, and I'm with Haley Wright, a junior. So Haley, how's your season looking so far? I think our season's looking pretty good this year. We had a tough loss tonight, but I think we all are working pretty hard, and I think we're going to have a good season this year. So Haley, the question is, how do you think the team's going to do in this conference? Well, honestly, I think that we're going to do pretty good. We can definitely take most all teams to five, and I think we could beat some in three. Okay. So I think we're going to do good. Sounds great. Goodbye. <laughs> to start it off, after Brandon Finley burns his corner on a fantastic route, Wyatt Hayes finds him in the end zone for a great touchdown. Here we have Sully Bellacorp running the ball almost all the way up to the end zone before being pushed out of bounds. Great effort by this young sophomore. Great defensive play by Derek Schmell, who strips out the ball from Butte Central's receiver. Evan Ellington then comes up to scoop the ball up for six points by your one and only, number six. Nearing the end of the game, lineman Carson Shepard easily intercepts the ball and brings it in for a touchdown. Thanks for watching, Frenchtown. Hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next episode. Stay snazzy, Frenchtown!